Hi, welcome to the Perfect Smile Studios and Institute. My name is Dr. Bhavna Doshi and I'm one of the cosmetic dentists here. Today I'd actually like to talk to you about what causes uh, enamel to be lost. You know, how, how can you, what kind of things lead to loss of enamel or loss of tooth structure? So the few things that, are, that could do that, the first thing is acid erosion. If you have a lot of fruits like uh, lemons, oranges, you know, vinegars or fizzy drinks in your diet, then that could over time lead to loss of enamel. It just disintegrates and it absorbs away. And, you know, uh, and if that happens, then you've lost tooth structure as a res result of that. And sometimes your teeth can end up becoming quite sensitive. Another thing that can lead to loss of tooth structure is grinding. If, you, if you're if you a kind of person that grinds their teeth at night or when you're focusing on something, um, then that could lead to loss of tooth structure over time. So there's some issues associated with that. Then you might have some bite issues. You know, your teeth might be in the incorrect position. This is especially true if, you're, um, if you have crooked teeth or teeth are not in quite in the right position. Um, and we call these bite interferences. And if you were to have things, those in your mouth, then every time you eat and chew or speak, the teeth flex in an incorrect way, leading to tiny micro cracks. And eventually those micro cracks propagate um, and can be brushed away over time. So, you know, and that kind of leads to little sort of little ditches. And often you'll see these kind of cracks. We call them ab fraction cavities. And you can often see them near the gum line where the tiny little craters. And that's often because of a, uh, an incorrect bite. Um, excessive tooth brushing has been um, you know, suggested as one of the reasons for tooth loss. But you've got to have some underlying issues there like bite issues or very abrasive toothpaste or very abrasive toothbrush and really hard hand to really lose tooth structure via tooth brushing. But it has been known to happen. So, But often there's an underlying issue there that we need to deal with. Um, if you have medical conditions like bulimia, you know, throwing up that stomach acid, that can very easily lead to loss of tooth structure. And we've seen lots of teeth that are quite worn down because of that, th that condition. So, you know, once a condition's you know, treated, and that, you know, we often see patients that need to have their teeth restored because of the loss of tooth structure. And then obviously the number one reason for loss of tooth structure is decay, which it, decay is simply bacteria that has invaded a tooth and has just disintegrated it. Once you have lost tooth tissue, you cannot replace it. It doesn't, there's no way of growing it back, though there have been quite a lot of scientific innovations and research being done in that area. So watch this space with regards to that. Um, but, you know, once a tooth t tissue has been lost, whether it's enamel or the dentine, then, you, you know, it needs to be restored in some manner and form. And, you know, if you are concerned that you might have loss of tooth structure for whatever reason, often you'll know because your teeth will look worn or they might not look like they did a few years ago, then I would definitely recommend that you go to your dentist and discuss this issue because there's often things that we can do that can help at least stabilize the condition so that it doesn't get worse. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you want more information, do go to our website, which is www.theperfectsmile.co.uk. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. So thanks for tuning in. See you. Bye.